To keep up to date with our latest videos, please hit the subscribe button below. Hello, good morning. Chris here from racingbetdata.com. Uh, delighted to be able to bring you this video uh, to detail some of the new features, functions and outputs that we've added as part of phase one to the live Racing Bet Data website. Um, so first of all, what we're going to do is navigate to uh, the R Data menu uh, and the Eagle Eye of the Munch, you will spot this new feature here called Customize Columns. We'll come on to that in a second, uh, but you'll be able to notice this in your drop down. Now it's worth pointing out before we get into anything uh, that you've, if you have recently used the site, you may need to clear your cache and cookies for these new outputs features uh, and functionality to appear um, on, your, um, on your browser. So bear that in mind. Um, if you've visited the site recently, give your cookies and cache uh, a clear out uh, before revisiting so you can uh, make the most of these new features which I'm about to show you uh, now by getting into the data dashboard so first port of call data dashboard now I'm logged in already as an advanced member uh, into Mike's account um, so all advanced members you will have these outputs uh, and function controls already available for you as of now um, and members yet to upgrade so currently at basic as soon as you upgrade to advance you'll have these features and functions available to yourself as well so I'm just going to scroll down to generate some output uh, and we're just going to output yesterday's data with everything else as default and click submit as you can see I'm on the on the live version now these have been pushed to live this morning 31st of July 2023 so we're going to get the output. So there was only two meetings yesterday, so a small amount of uh, races, 96 records. Now you can see the scroll bar here. So I can click this or drag this across and you'll be able to see these new headings that we've added in. Uh, so this is the previous cutoff, the info column, everything to the right, uh, new columns. So we've made that agreement that if we do add in new features and columns, we don't scramble up the order. Uh, because I'm aware that people use their outputs as templates and for automation. So anything that's newly added will always be added onto the end to the right hand side. So we don't scramble up the, the pre-existing templates that people might be using. So you can see here all these new features. Uh, we've got the Betfair SP. That's why it took a little bit longer than anticipated because we did have several requests for the Betfair SP odds. So we're delighted to be able to say that the best Betfair SP odds are in the database back to 2009. So over 14 years worth of Betfair SP odds uh, and whether the horse placed in that market. Uh, and then we've obviously uh, added in the profit and the profit, uh, the, the lay profit columns based on the, the place markets. Now all these headers are abbreviated in here because obviously the, there's a finite space, uh, but you can click the key of headings table uh, and you will be able to see all of these explained in more detail in the key of headings. So we have runs last 18 months, wins last five, uh, average SP drop uh, in the last five races, average SP drop last 18 months, the RBD rating and RBD rank, which have been very, very highly requested. So all of these columns were pulled through from the pre-race download file. So the file that's created every morning very popular in its use. Uh, we've been able to import all of that information for these columns. Uh, it goes back to July 2021. So over two years worth of data has been backfilled into the database. Over 4.5 million cells worth of data. So it was a big exercise and obviously the testing needed to be done. Um, but we've got the total previous races that horse has had prior to the current race or the race in the output. Uh, we've got the days since last time out. Um, course wins, distance wins, class wins, going wins, last time out position, uh, course winner, whether it's a one at the course it's running at, yes or no, distance winner, yes or no, up in trip from its last race, yes or no. And then as I've said already, we've got the Betfair uh, place SP, as well as the Betfair uh, place returns for backing and laying as well. What I have missed out and I've just noticed there is the, the placed, which is the yes or no as well. So whether the horse placed, I need to add that one in, but that one's pretty self-explanatory. Now, all of these columns you can filter. Uh, so by clicking on these uh, white ones with the hyperlink, <clears throat> they will sort for you automatically. So I've sorted here on the uh, placed column. So that will sort no to yes. 
um, and you can obviously see here with the arrow that it's um, sorted uh, descending and then you can sw switch it to ascending um, and you can do that with any of these existing columns that we have here okay so all of that information is now available to you as an advanced member now scrolling down you'll notice that obviously the headers uh, have a line to where I wanted to select them so if you wanted to go left and right here you can use the um, your, your keyboard to use the arrows left and right and if you're viewing on mobile or tablet you can just simply swipe left or right so using my arrows arrow keys left and right you can navigate across when you've already scrolled down uh, if we get to the bottom of the data you'll see there's another scroll bar there and if you have more uh, than one page worth of output you'll have your pages along the bottom as well that you'll be able to select okay profitability tables uh, still work exactly as before and the phase two will be adding in uh, additional columns for the place market so we're hoping in the next week or two to be able to release those as well we want to do this in stages so you guys can start getting the benefits of what we've been doing okay so i'm going to scroll to the top now understand that not all these columns will be relevant to you as a user you may not want to use uh, some of the new ones or some of the existing ones and this is where I touched on the customized columns page. So we're gonna to navigate to that now. Now this handy page will allow you as an advanced member to edit the output columns that you see. Now this will work on the data dashboard, the head to head or horse history page, uh, as well as the um, date picker, which I'll come to in a second. Um, and we'll, we'll retain against your login. So let's go through and uh, untick a couple of these now so let's take out the date let's take out um, all of this uh, SP data here and odds data just so you can see now this will allow you to, to obviously fine-tune to, to your screen settings as well if there's information on there you don't really want to see or use then you can filter these out and like I said every time you log out and log back in these will be remembered against your advanced membership account so you don't have to do this each time and then if you did want to start seeing some of this information you come back to this settings page and turn them back on again so i'm going to click update now i've taken out the date and the country and load of the sp odds so let's go back to the data dashboard uh, and generate the same output again so i'm going to go down to the bottom do select yesterday submit now we get exactly the same output but this time with those columns that I've just unticked, removed. So there you go. The first one on the left is the track. You've got none of that uh, Betfair SP data. Uh, and we can scroll across and see those new columns there. Now that will retain. So if I send this to Excel as well, uh, open that file, you'll have the same uh, column settings for Excel output as you will for on screen. So you can scroll through and look at this information filtered as you needed it so the beauty of some of these new columns last time out position uh, people might want to uh, look at the last time out position where the last time out the horse won for instance that might be something you want to do so you can use uh, the outputs to filter and control you can build in pivot tables you can sort and slice and dice the data uh, we will be adding in as part of phase three uh, filter controls on here additional filter controls but like I said this will be done in stages so phase three will allow you to automatically sort by some of these headings as well so we'll have additional controls uh, built into the filter section so profitability tables next then the filter controls okay now these new columns they'll work on uh, date picker as well so let's go to date picker and select a random date back in time let's go back to 2022 and let's go to 12th of July submit the 12th of July from uh, last year select the output and you'll have these new columns so like I said the date and country been filtered out because I've changed that in my settings and um, we can scroll to the right hand side and you can see these new columns added in uh, with the information okay so that is all there. Uh, we can go further back in time. And like I said, we've got data back to 2009 
for the SP odds, uh, the placed SP odds. So let's just look at another uh, output from July 2009. Wait for that to generate the outputs. Here we go. And we can scroll over to the right hand side and you can see in there Betfair place SP, whether it placed and the profitability for those horses as well, um, all included in there. So like I said, we've got nearly 15 years worth of Betfair placed SP odds available now. Uh, I know that's been heavily requested by uh, existing members, so we're delighted to be able to bring you that. Um, and the same works on the horse history. Let's go and look at the horse history strip head to head very quickly. So you'll see now a new function if we want to look for, let's look at Carto Star, hit the K and you'll see that it's loading the horses because we've selected a different uh, uh, letter. And we can just type in or we can scroll down to find uh, the horse you want to look at. Now you can compare it if you want to compare it to Denman or whoever it's raced against, you can use the head to head features for that. Uh, but we're just going to look at the one horse here, Colto Star, we can select, uh, get history, and you'll see is full history in here as well. So obviously, uh, dates back further in time, I've taken the dates off, but here from 2009 onwards, you've got the placed odds uh, and the profitability, then you've got all of the information on his runs on the <clears throat> industry and Betfair SP as well. This is for the horse too, we haven't selected one, so this is Porto Star, as you can see in here. So all of your column history uh, controls, like I've said, because I've filtered out date and country, they're, they're not visible in here. I've just done that for a demonstration. Realistically, you probably will want the date in there, but just showing you how you can turn those on and off very simply using the customize columns option. So hopefully that gives you guys an explanation of what you now have at your fingertips. So a couple of important things to remember. Remember to clear your cash and cookies to get the benefits uh, on your output. Remember to use the scroll bar left and right if you can't fit all of your columns that you want uh, on screen. All of your columns that are customizable um, are done through here and that will affect your outputs uh, on a data dashboard uh, and horse history. And that includes the date picker uh, as well as Excel. It will also affect uh, and control the outputs that you see when you send to Excel. Those will be retained against your login. So remember, next time you log in, if you're thinking, where's that column? Why is that not displaying? It's likely that you've hidden it uh, and you need to go back into your customized control settings, click edit, uh, and then turn those features back on. Okay. Thanks for your time. Really glad to be able to deliver this to you. Um, hope you enjoy. Start getting the benefits from these outputs. Um, and we look forward to releasing a new video as soon as we've updated and released phase two.